In this video, we're going to look at how to design a mistake cover like this. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe. If you're old here, thanks so much for coming back again. So let's get started and design a mistake cap. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer, of course. I'm going to use inches 8 by 8 You can use any size that you want, depending on what, what the cover you are creating it for. So I'm using the standard one and I click OK. You can also use 4 by 4 obviously when you come over here i have some resources that i'm going to make use and i'm going to make use of shatter wallace picture of which he has no idea that i'm doing this uh, mistake cover so um as a disclaimer he has no idea it is none of his songs um and i'm not hired to do anything this is purely educational purposes i'll put the link to download these um, resources in the description so you can check it out so let's jump right into the video so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to set a solid color right over here and then i'm going to click ok i'll go back to my resources and then i'm going to bring in this particular background that is i don't know how it is called but then it is a background okay and then i'm going to press ctrl t and i'm going to resize it till this point i want it over here and then i'm going to double click to check it done i'm going to right click and go to rasterize layer Go to the blending options and I'm going to set this to overlay. So basically it is going to blend with a solid color that we set. Next we're going to bring in this Halloween um, background that I downloaded also. So I'm going to resize it also and then I'm going to set it because I want only this part of the background. So I go to the blending mode and then I'm going to set this to soft light. So I right click and then rasterize. And I have this one also. Next, I'm going to bring in the burn background also, and then I'm going to resize it like that, position it somewhere around here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the blending mode of that to screen. So I have this one over here, as cute as that. So what I'm doing basically is I'm trying, I try different blending options and then it worked for me. So if you have different backgrounds, you can try different blending options and then it can work for you as well. So let's finally add this max rest default background also. And then we're going to turn one, that one also into screen to give us this nice thing over there. Next, I'm going to import in my main character that is the person that i'm using for this tutorial and his name is shatawale big ups to all the sm fans here so i'm going to crop this out and then i'm going to set this over here next i'm going to double click to unlock this background and then i'm going to left click to create a selection around here i'm going to delete it and then create this selection around here because some parts did not delete you can just take your time to work out on this one but then I think hey, it's cool. We can use this for the tutorial for the meantime. I know you're going to take your time to do this when you have free time. So let's go to eraser and then make sure that we don't have anything left out here. Basically, we, we might have something left out. But then afterwards, we're going to hold control and then left click. We're going to press control shift and I only if you're on Windows. And then we're going to pick a polygonal lasso tool. Go to the refine edge and then smoothen it up a little bit. Like here, the feather is going to be about 0 0.0005 and then you hit enter. Then you can delete a little bit, one or two, and then you have a refined edge. So you're going to send our main picture into the work that we are doing. Press Ctrl T and then resize it. But then we are not having a clean or like a nice... A really nice edges but then we will maintain it like that okay so I have it over here you take your time to position it and then I'm going to add a layer max to it pick my brush tool and then I'm going to increase it up a little bit make sure the hardness is on zero and then you can brush off this area because the edges aren't looking that good so you can brush off this 
area like that like it is fading in so next i'm going to add what we call a channel mixer to this basically we're going to play around with the color so you can just take your time to play around a little bit with this one so i'm getting something like this and then you increase this one also like that and i think this is looking good for me so the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to add a gradient i have a couple of packs of gradients over here so i'm going to select one of them go to ok and then i click ok again so when i come to the normal and then set this one to overlay this is what i'm having but then it's, it looks so deep so i'm going to set it to soft light now when you double click on the gradient again if you flip it over here like that you can have different versions of um, um like the gradients how it is going to turn out for you and then you can also play around with different kind of gradients let me know in the comment section which one of them looked good for you but i'm prefer this one so i click ok and then i'm done with that so the rest would have to be the testing so next over here we're going to pick the test tool and then we're going to write something up over here i'm going to make use of the font acrobat and then i'm going to write shutter movement empire basically that is the name of these guys uh, movement so i'm going to change the color to white and then i'm going to press ctrl t to resize it like this and then try to position it in the middle over here so you can add anything basically like the record label or anything in collaboration anything you can write it over here and then the other one that we're going to write is um shatawale that is the artist name so i'm going to use um shatawale and then i do this one also and i'm going to make use of this font called ferro rosso like ferro rosso so i go to the toggle character over here and then i'm going to close it up a little bit like that because it is too spaced out so i'm going to close it out and then i'm going to resize this one and then position it right over here so that is how we have it so shatawale and then we go to the blending options and then we're going to drop a shadow increase the size a little bit draw an outer glow and then i'm going to pick a very bright color like this one from here and then i'm going to um, increase the size like this to make it a little bit popping and i'm going to add the name of the song so this one i i'm going to make it of a song called kakai okay so kakai i think um so kakai and then i'm going to change the font type to bold over here and then i'm going to position it right there so what i'm trying to do here is that you can add the the artist name and then the song title over here and then i think this is looking so bright for me so i'm going to add another um curves over here and then i'm going to drag it down a little bit because it is looking way too brighter for me so i think this looks fine for me and then i'll go in and bring my advisory parental because if a song is it contains like heavy or like big languages or something like explicit languages you have to drop this one on top of it right there so from here anything that you would want to do you can just add a couple of stuff like you can add this particular um shining stuff over here that is the lens flare if you want to know how to do a lens flare in full you can refer to my tutorial i have you turn this one to screen and then you go to filter blur and then you're going to blur this one a little bit like the more you blur it the more it is going to look good like that and then you can press ctrl t to resize it and then finally you position it over here so it gives it some more good looking stuffs and then you can employ a lot of other couple of stuffs into this so that will be all for now thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video i hope you learned a little bit or uh, one or two things from this 
don't forget to hit on the subscribe button if this was helpful for you and i'll catch you in the next one so it's innocent here bye